I'm feeling great. I mean, it's a blessing to be back out here. Uh, I suffered two injuries last year. Uh, tore my meniscus before the season and uh, broke my uh, fibula in the Arkansas game. So it's just a blessing to be back out here flying around full speed. How frustrating has it been with the injuries throughout your college career? So it seems like every time you kind of get ahead of steam, something yeah. else happens. I mean, it's been tough, but uh, I've been blessed enough to have people around me that keep me rooted and grounded and uh, just get me through my injuries. It was tough last year, but I have, you had plenty of guys that suffered injuries, Debo, Bryson, guys like that who we all came in together and we planned on leaving. You know, you kind of plan on leaving at the same time, and now we all come back together. So I feel like that's a blessing in disguise that we all come back that, this year. So, I mean, um, it's, it's going to be interesting. You, Deepo, Rico, all had the same mm -hmm. injury. I mean, how freakish is that? Did you guys talk about it? Yeah, it was freakish. Uh, honestly, Rico came and seen me after I broke my leg, and uh, they left and went to Tennessee, and I'm watching the game, and I see he come back. He, he come to my house. He's in the cast. He broke his leg. So I'm like, man, this is just crazy, and I just feel like just more of – we're taking, care, taking a lot more care of our body now because you know how important it is to, to last all season and so that you can help your team so that we can win a lot of ball games. So, What is the pecking order now with the tight ends? Are you the lead guy now that, that Hayden is uh, I'm, I don't. I, I just play my role. I don't know a depth chart. I don't know a number. I just play my role. I take my reps. I uh, get better every day. All, all of us in the room get better every day. So that's that's pretty much – I can't – I don't know a, exactly depth chart position yet. So. You and uh, Jacob pretty much running in the the, the first snaps. So yeah, we have we have been we have been running with the uh, first group. Do you feel like you are the heir apparent to Hayden Hurst that you can kind of take over that pass catching tight end role? <laughs> Hayden Hurst, uh, that's some big shoes to fill, huh? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but uh, I mean, um, I've learned a lot from him. And, uh, just coming in, uh, that's been more of my my advantage. I feel like I, I can catch the ball a lot better, and, and I do catch the ball well. So that that would be one of my standout characteristics about my game. How much faster is this offense? Oh, it's a lot faster. You got to be in shape to run this offense. You got to you gotta know what you're doing because we're moving real fast. We want to confuse the defense as much as we can. So we've been going re really fast with B-Mac coming off the score now. Somebody who watched practice said that it kind of looks like uh, the Oregon Ducks offense <laughs> back in the day. You know, How much of that do you think you're trying to model? I don't know. I don't know how much Coach is trying to model that, but I know it's, it's fast and it's, it's going to be efficient. He wants it efficient. Casey, going back to the injury, you mentioned taking care of your body. How much more can you do to avoid something like that? Is it like wearing high tops, wearing more braces? What, what I just say do? My, my biggest part is just staying consistent. My eating, my the way I train my body, the way I take care of my body on my off time, what I'm, what I'm putting into my body. And just, just that's more the biggest part. I feel like getting older, you understand that more because your body is getting older as you've been playing this game. So that's just one of the biggest things I've been trying to do. Does the faster up-tempo offense favor a guy like you who's pretty good at getting open in the middle of the field and yeah, catching love, the ball. I love it. Uh, it's, 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 it was tough to catch on to at first going so fast because you're used to a certain pace of offense, but I love it. it, it, it keep, it's, it's always getting somebody open because you're going so fast that the defense is always going to be out of place somehow, somewhere. Is there more or are there more deep shots as a result of just the tempo you run? I mean, yeah, I feel like it's, it's more deep shots we can take now because we're getting the defense out of position so that we can take those deep shots. You get more one-on-one -on -one positions, well, well more one-on-one -on -one, uh, matchups on the outside and, and, and at the slot receiver, so it's a big advantage. Does it favor a guy like Debo? Oh, it's going to definitely favor anything in favor a guy like Debo. <laughs> yes, sir. How good is it to have him back on this offense? It's I know great. you're not seeing a lot yet. But. It's, it's, it's great to have him back because um, Debo can really – he's really going to open it up for other guys. Like I, like last year, if he would have stayed healthy, he would have been the best receiver in the country. That's, that's no doubt. And um, he's going to open up a lot of things for other guys like Brian, me, uh, Jacob, other guys that's out there. Otre is going to open it up because they're going to try to be focusing on Debo so much that they're going to – kind of try to single recover a lot of other uh, playmakers. What would make this uh, spring game successful for, for y'all's offense? Uh, we come out healthy. That's the biggest thing. As long as we come out healthy and uh, we go out there and compete our butts off, we'll be fine. And what do y'all think as players having two practices after the spring game? I mean, it is what it is. You just take it and go. Whatever coach say, you take it and go. And, you know, no more thinking. It's just going to do it or you not. Do you know what's coming? Uh. I don't know, probably some, I don't know, I can't really tell. I can't really tell you. Hopefully not nothing too hard. <laughs> Do you expect the offense to 
go as fast as it wants to go in the spring game, or do you expect to hold something back just because everybody watches the spring game? Yeah, I, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure we'll move fast. We probably won't show everything we, we have, but I'm pretty sure we're going to move fast. That's what Coach B-Mac, he, that's how he is. That's what he's instilled in us since he's been the coordinator. We're going to go real fast. Thanks, Casey. Casey. Last season, just the way things played out for you, how do you? Oh, man. I just honestly, I mean, it's adversity, and I just stay prayed up. I just, I just stay prayed up. I'm a real strong believer in my faith, and I just stay prayed up because uh, anything can happen. This game could go away from you, snap of a finger. So I just pretty much stay prayed up. What's sort of your approach to 2018? Uh, fresh start. Fresh um, start. Last season, been my last spring game coming up. Uh, my approach is just to go into it with, a, with a, um, being healthy, positive mindset, and just try to win as many ball games as we can.